Jalo on the track video productions. I'm Richardson Metre from Montreal, Canada. This is my second year at Indian Hills Warriors. Now I'm a sophomore. And this year is going to be a great year. Get ready for it. Cinco and Cat Montreal. C'est déjà comme on fait. Yeah. starting playing basketball is basically my brother. And I always looked up to my brother. And he started playing basketball while I was playing soccer. And, you know, just looking up to him, I just felt like he was another option to me. Then playing, 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 playing in the park with him, I just developed a passion for, for, for basketball. And I, and I dropped soccer. And from there, I grew up from him. And that's where, that's why, that's why I'm here where I'm at. I'll, I'll, I'll basically say it's because of my brother. Things that I do that are keys to my success. I'll basically say uh, consistency, you know, just being in the gym every day, pulling up shots, getting getting shots up, you know, just being consistent. You know, I'm just I'm just trying to make it. And the way the way I got I got the way I'm gonna make it is by being in the gym the, the, the most. You know, while while other guys are sleeping or while other guys are doing anything else, I mean they're working. And always, I'm always working on my game, even when I'm not in the gym. I'm watching, watching tape, watching other guys, NBA players, college players, you know, people who, who who are successful from what they're doing. So I learn from them. Oh yeah, take a charge. Why not? I set my goals by situation that happens in my life, you know. People doubt me, or you know, my mom, my mom not working, or things like that. That's how I base my goal. And you know, this year goal is is winning it's winning everything. Going going to Hutch and win the whole thing. Because you know, we got we got our five guys coming back. It's my last year playing with them. So you know I'm trying to accomplish the most that I can. I truly think we have a team for that, and that's basically how I set my goal. You know, based on what people say, doubt always been overlooked. So you know, that's how, that's how my goal is, or, or, or being set. season coming up you know, personally is to be the best version of me on the court and off the court and you know as a team I think it's accomplished the, the, the best that we can do and I truly think we can accomplish everything you know um, going to hush winning the whole thing and my other goals would be you know to see all my teammates get somewhere in college because you know I'm, I'm more of a, of a team player so yeah Personally, you know, I, I would like to average this amount, this amount. It, it doesn't really matter because, you know, no matter what, I'm, I'm expecting everybody to do their best. Those are my goals for the season.
advice I have as given is you know, to stay humble and stay with God. Because you know, no matter what, no matter where you go, no matter what happens, God will always be there. And you know, staying humble is the best thing you can do. You know, yeah, you can be confident, but you, you got to be confident with humbleness. And that, that's what I'm doing. That, that, that's the best advice that I had since I was young. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm seeking God in everything that I do. There we go. My role for the team, especially as a returner, is basically to lead, 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 lead as much as, much as I can do. You know, being being here last year, we were we had a successful year last year, so you know, I learned from it. And you know, I had Kenny, Chris, Yvonne, um, not Yvonne, Yvonne's still here, Brady, all them, I looked up to them because you know they've been college division one already. So I'm looking up to them and from them I learned that you know I have to lead in order to get to what what I, what I have to do. Am I intangible or what make me a good leader? Because you know I always stay positive and I always you know look forward and look past the mistakes. So I I I'll really say leading. Leading will be my, my biggest role. And, you know, making sure that my, my whole team is good, making sure that everybody is good on the court and off the court. that I would like to share with everybody is that you know God put you God put you through things for a reason and you know people think junior college it's a bad thing but it's actually not you know he it help you grow as a as a person and also as a basketball not only basketball player but you know as an athlete I learned from it and you know coming com coming from another country it, it's kind of hard because you you got to leave the family back home and come here and grind but little do you know, you growing, you growing, you, and next thing you know, you're gonna be a man, and you you'll realize that you mature. You know, I'm 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 19 years old, and I I've seen I've seen a lot of things. And I grew I grew from it, learned from it, grew from it, and you know now I, I'll probably be able to live my own life because I've I've been I've been I've been by myself since I was 15 coming to the United States. You know. That's, that, that's my biggest advice to you guys, you know, just, you know, stay, stay with God, that's it.